right in the studio. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up, I'm JR. You're chilling all right. Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer at Jerome Harden Studios. So the topic we're going to talk about today is what life is like being an adult. So um, the reason I wanted to talk about this topic right now is because I want to give you guys the experience and what it's like to be an adult. If you kids haven't experienced being an adult, whether you actually the real being an adult, um, actually when you're 19, 18, 21, 22, you're still young, you're still a kid, you still have a whole life ahead of you. So, um, and what it's like being an adult, um, once you hit 18, high school, out of your parents' house or whatever, um, you have decisions to make you either go to college you either go to work um uh, stuff like that um and also that um once you be on your own and stuff um rather you have roommates whether you be on your own whether you have kids whether you go to the army go to college go to the job you know anything so um let me put it to you like this if you go out live on your own, which I am doing right now, actually. Um, do you think it's easy? Do you think it's more peaceful than just living with your parents or just roommates, all that stuff? Well, if you have your own opinion, well, if you're going to be living on your own, you need to have a plan. Um, if you want to have your own space, be away from everybody, live in an apartment or a house or something like that, you need to have a plan such as, you know, save up a lot of money. Um, if you're going to have kids and stuff, same thing, you gotta save up a lot of money, you got to have a plan, um, and sometimes, um, when you have sex, you know, just doing whatever you want to do, have a baby or whatever, you know, it was unplanned or whatever, sometimes it's stuff like this just happens, sometimes you don't plan it out, you're just having a little fun, you know, and then, uh, once, you know, you get pregnant or the baby is born, you don't know what to do, what to expect, or even though, that you guys are still together and have the baby have two parents, you know, it's still hard as being a single mom. So, <coughs> um, and also if you're going to be living on your own and stuff, like I said, you gotta have a plan or if you uh, think too quick, get out of your parents' house just because they get on your nerves and tell you don't wanna live with them anymore. You don't wanna live with people anymore. You just wanna be on your own, do what you wanna do. Um, also that can turn into a disaster right there as such as unexpected bills come, you know, debts, you know, not having enough money and all that stuff, always buying food, always buying groceries, you have to cook for yourself, nobody's ain't going to cook for you, um, and, you know, it's just very stressful, you know, you gotta pay the bills while you living on your own, such as rent, mortgage, food, gas, car maintenance, car insurance, electric bill cable bill phone bill um and loans if you got any so yeah that's what i'm saying right there being on your own is not fun unless you have a plan unless you have a lot of money saved and also if you go to work which you get money from um people giving you money and all that stuff that um if you go to work, you have to get up in the morning, you know, go to work, brush your teeth, eat breakfast, you know, getting out of bed also is the most painful thing ever. But when you were at school, when you was a kid, you had to do the same thing, get up, but your parents forced you to do it. But when you're on your own, it's kind of a little challenging getting up and going to work. So if you set your alarm clock, you still feel groggy, you still feel tired, you know, you just go back to sleep and then boom, you're late for work and then your boss gets on you and, you know, they write you up, you know, give you three strikes. And once you're three strikes, you're out of here. You're fired. And uh, it's kind of hard finding a job once you're fired and all that stuff, especially when you're living on your own and stuff. But, you know, and um, when you find a job, it's kind of tough. It's kind of hard to find a job back then because you fell out millions of applications, you know, 
you're expecting people to call you back. You call the job, you know, they say hiring, you know, that's the kind of experience that I had. Um, and nowadays, since the pandemic is over, the coronavirus pandemic, or thanks to the coronavirus pandemic, for lucky for you people, if you want a job, you can just go to another job, fill out applications, go to work, you know, just sit there, do your job, done. Boom. You a good job, they hire you, keep doing a good job, promotion, keep paying you, go to work every day, boom. You like going to work, getting up, feeling energetic, there you go. It's not that hard to get a job these days, right? But um, anyway, now that I had that, get the major stuff out of the way, um, let's go back to when we were kids. Um, last newscast, I talked about that when we were kids and all that stuff that we are, you know, watching cartoons, getting all the food, getting all the candy that we mostly known and love, watching all the shows that we used to do. Uh, things that we used to do at school, getting in trouble and all that stuff, but, you know, and being an adult, um, really, um, you don't be living there with your parents, but, you know, I know a majority of the adults that do live with their parents and all that stuff, because, you know, right now, like I said, you know, it's 2022, inflation is still here, you know, rent is very high, food's very high, electricity is very high, everything else is high, so, because of, you know, the things that is going on around the world and all that stuff and the government, you know, everything is high these days. And, you know, if you're trying to be living on your own right now, I think it's going to be a little tougher for you. So um, my advice is probably, you know, like other people said, you know, probably getting a roommate is the best alternative the way to go. But um, if you really don't want a roommate, but you had to get a roommate, I would just say go for it because, you know, it's very tough to imagine the bills on your own. You have to go to work. You have to do all kinds of jobs. Sometimes you got to get two jobs, even three jobs, just to make ends meet. Just because of the inflation. Even though you got a college degree, you know, if you are if you're a teacher or an educator right now, and you know, and you have to get another job because, like I said, I overheard that teachers aren't getting paid enough just to manage their bill for just one job. Even though they went to get a degree for it, you know, it's still not enough to pay their debts to pay back their loans when they went to college. So what does that mean? Is the whole world screwed up? Is America screwed up? Is the government screwed us over? I mean, what's the big deal over here? I mean, just think of this. You went to college, right? You went to school to get a degree, which costs something around like twenty, thirty, forty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, all that stuff. And then you go in there, you get a job within your field, and you find out it's not paying enough. So you have to get a second job in which you went to college for it, isn't paying enough for you, and you have to get a second job, which is fast food, retail, um, any kind of small job. So, and sometimes you have to work a weekend job just to make ends meet. So really, um, you work in seven days a week, sometimes 24 seven, 12 hour days, and you know, it's, very ridiculous that we don't have to do all that. Back in, um, I saw a picture or something in the 1980s, you can just get a big house just being a shoe salesman. So, what does that mean? Are we screwed over? Has times changed? So, that's why I'm trying to tell you right here. Um, being adult can be stressful unless you're very rich. Um, and if you have a kid, you have a wife, all this stuff, you know, being an adult, kids bother you. And you realize that, you know, you're not young enough anymore. Once you call these college kids uh, children and you're old enough, like you're 29, you're about to be 30. I'm about to be 30 next month. And just think of it. If you're uh, calling these people children, that means you're getting old. And, you know, sometimes you hate that. Sometimes you wish you were still a kid. Well, I wish I was still a kid, too. And, you know, we can't go back. We can't change all that. And to, real, to realize that, you know, once the people you know and love are getting older and, you know, they're not the same people anymore. And once we're getting older, people, we're getting wiser. And, you know, times change. You know, people change. You know, people switch up. You know, I mean, stuff happens a lot. So, um, yeah. So, that's what I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, it's just, you know, time has changed, you know, 
and then you know you have to cook your own foods and all that stuff unless you know and once you get roommates and all that stuff you know you can cut down on bills you can relax yourself you don't have to worry about working all the time you know and then you know when you got kids and all that stuff whether you're single married uh co-parenting or you know just living with your partner and all that stuff i mean whatever the situation might be but you know it may be good it may be bad you just don't know what's going on in their people's lives you know you know couples may be happy for the people in public but you know you don't even know what's going on behind closed doors so um yeah so that's what the topic is going to be about but you know i just uh, told you about the temple a while back when um, stuff we did after high school or life after high school and you know I was thinking that just popped into my head that um, I'm going to be talking about depression is real and also as a matter of fact let me talk about this right now also if you're living alone in the house or an apartment, you're living on your own, you don't have no roommate, sometimes it can be, can be depressing, you know, without no internet, because you can't afford internet, which is making more depressing. So, I live alone, you know, sometimes people get depressed, you know, majority of the U.S. get depressed, so, even though they don't show it, you know, sometimes it's good to talk to a friend, a therapist, you know, talk to somebody about it, I mean, it just helps you get out all the stress, get out all the pain and anger that you had follow up inside you. That's what being an adult is all about. And it's just because of the work stress, the bills are piling up, you know. You have to do this, you have to take out the trash, you have to cook, you have to clean, you know. There's nobody helping you. Your parents are not there in your apartment to help you anymore because you decided to move out. And, you know, if you're still living with your parents, I mean, that's a plus, too. I wish I still have, I wish I would have listened when I first moved out. I wish I would have listened, to be honest with you. So, but it's all good because I'm still living on my own. I'm still managing bills, you know, still had to clean, still had to cook, still had to, you know, wash my car. You know, I still had to do everything on my own, paying bills, you know, make sure the house is good, make sure everything's good in my house. So, you know, that does uh that's a lot of stress for you right there so um now if you have roommates you have to think about this you have to worry about people going to your room people touching your stuff people uh, buying people over uh, people that touch your stuff you know people harassing you people giving you problems people telling you this people telling you that it's just like you're living with your parents all over again same thing that like having an apartment or having a wife and all that stuff having children you know it's just all that so um yeah, so that's what I wanted to say and you know, and I hope uh, this video is educating you on what life is like being an adult because you know, inflation is high and you know, once we're getting older, the world is getting serious. So um, global warming, um, worrying about if you got to go to work or not, taking six days, you know, parents not taking care of you and you uh, laying down watching to worry about which bills you can pay and which bills you cannot pay electricity getting turned off you know you got a car no people taking your car and all that stuff um yeah so missing work is like very crucial to your life right here when you're gonna pay rent on time is it gonna affect your rent is it gonna affect your daily life i mean you know if you get evicted on stuff you know that goes on your work and you can't get in another apartment and you're gonna be homeless so you, you gotta worry about that too so yeah, and you know, homelessness is on the rise around the U.S. right now, even in my city, because I see a lot of homeless people every time I go out at night, and people ask me for money, people ask me for favors, people ask me for food, you know, times are tough, you know, just people are managing their bills in their lives the best way they can, that's why, you know, they don't have time to talk to you, they have so much to do, you know, it's very stressful, you know, and managing traffic too, you have to drive, if you live in a big city or in a small town, you know, there's traffic. So you have to be careful. You don't want to hit each other because if you do get into an accident, you know, it's going to be bad. You got to, you know, insurance go up. You know, uh, also. So insurance goes up once you get into an accident. And, you know, once the insurance is going, very stressful. You got to file a police report. You got to tell people what happened, you know. And, you know, if you... 
value your car or love your car you love your vehicle you know you take care of it real good you put a lot of money and soul into it blood sweat and tears you know you are being careful that people don't hit you you don't hit them or they almost hit you you know get into road rage on stuff you know that's what life is all about um and same thing happened to young kids same happened to teenagers too so let's just think about that for a second um and you know I watched that video, like I said, of a, a driver passing an aggressive driver because he almost hit him. And once they stopped, the aggressive driver got out, pointed a gun at him because, you know, he passed him just to avoid an accident. So what sense does that make right there? So what sense does that make? Doesn't make no sense at all, right? I mean, fortunately, the aggressor was arrested, got charged, and, you know, the kid, I mean, the person um live to tell their story of what happened so you gotta be careful of road rage too and i wanted to talk about it in another newscast in the future about road rage incidents so um just stick around and just expect this uh topic to be talked about in the future so um yeah so i think that's the um topic um uh, or that's everything that i'm going to be talking about today because i couldn't think of any more that i want to talk about today so um if you like this topic be sure to comment like and subscribe and to my youtube channel and you know and it's gonna be fun um i still have a lot more newscasts for y'all guys um don't go anywhere stick around and you'll know you're gonna love everything that you know i talk about so um i think that's going to be it for right now and i'm gonna um chill out and lay down and you know and whew, it's so cold in the studio wow you know around here in also um this week it was very warm it was very hot i was sweating and then all of a sudden it turned into antarctica right now but it's not snowing outside so it's very cold in this studio you know and, you know, it's just, you know, very cozy in here. It's just a little cold in here. You know, it's very cold outside. It's 36 degrees right now. So, um, I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you in another newscast. So, stick around. Be prepared. You're going to love everything I talk about. So, sign off. Until next time, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.